Even back in the 18th century, urban legends were told throughout Europe. As to be expected, these legends were grim in nature. But what was more grim than the grimmest of grim tales is that some of these urban legends turned out to be true. In the 18th and 19th centuries, medical schools were suffering as they didn't have enough bodies to dissect. In the UK, up until 1832, the only corpses given to schools were those of people sentenced to death and dissection by a judge. At the time, only around 50 people were sentenced to capital punishment per year, which fell slightly short of the 500 corpses required by medical schools each year. This environment was perfect for the rise of the body snatchers. Resurrectionists, also known as body snatchers, would exhume the corpses of dead people and sell them on the black market. On a still night, they would sneak into graveyards and using just a lantern, shovels, crowbars and the odd enchanted amulet would steal bodies from the chilling clutch of the grave. This was such a common problem that watchtowers were built on burial grounds to scare off grave robbers. If a friend or family member was to die, you would need to physically watch over their body until their funeral. An iron coffin would be used, and the grave would be guarded by a mort safe. In 1828, serial killers Burke and Hare took things to a new level when they started murdering people before selling their corpses to doctors, which seemed to start a trend. There was a whole group of body snatchers known as the London Burkers, inspired by and named after the Burke and Hare killings. In the 1830s, they achieved notoriety when they lured, drugged, and murdered a 14-year-old boy before delivering his body to a local medical school, which led to a huge police investigation, resulting in members of the group being hanged. But it wasn't always the police that put a stop to body snatching. As there was huge public distaste for the illegal procurement of corpses, angry mobs would often attack grave robbers. Let me take you back to New York City in the year 1788, Body snatching from the graves of both slaves and poor white people led first to a moral panic and then to a fuck-off massive riot. This event is known as the Doctor's Riot. In April of that year, a man caught a group of medical students in the act of dissecting his dead wife, who had recently been buried. As a reaction to this, he did the only thing a man could. He gathered a large crowd outside the building and started smashing the place up. The riot grew so big that the mayor of the city had to intervene. There was a time when stories of body snatchers were seen as nothing more than urban legends. It stems from African American folklore. Slave owners would tell their slaves tales of night doctors. Night doctors were the ghosts of white doctors who would kill black people, steal their bodies, and do horrific experiments on them. The legend was spread to discourage slaves from escaping during the night and fleeing to the north where they could live happily. Still today, we hear urban legends of people's organs being stolen, if not their whole body. The chilling legacy of 19th century body snatching is the question of whether these modern stories are also true. 